continuing with uh, graphing uh, hyperbola this is the sixth video in the series so the question is graph the following equation show all your working and key features of the graph now this is the equation of a uh, of a hyperbola okay now hyperbola if you remember has a horizontal asymptote a uh, a horizontal asymptote, a vertical asymptote, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So this will have all these uh, features, uh, both the asymptotes and x-intercept and y-intercept. So if you remember uh, from my previous videos, uh, to find uh, the vertical asymptote, you have to think when would the denominator become zero. So let me say, let us start. You want to find the vertical <coughs> asymptote. So when you're looking at vertical asymptote, you're looking at when would the function would become zero or in other words when would this become zero we know and any function would become undefined or uh, is not defined or has an error when the denominator becomes zero. i'll show that on the calculator so when x for which value of x of x would this become zero so i'm asking the question when would x plus three become a zero okay so that's very easy this means x has to be negative 3. when x is negative 3 your function is not defined so your vertical asymptote is this that is x is equal to negative 3 so let us graph that so this is your negative 3 and this line that goes uh, vertically is called the vertical asymptote. So let us uh, draw the vertical asymptote first. So, so this is the vertical asymptote. So let us scroll. Let me scroll down. <coughs> so this is negative three. I'll scroll up. Highlight. Set the tail. And this is this line is x is equal to negative three. So that's your vertical asymptote. So this at this at when x is negative three, the function or the graph is not defined. Or in other words, you cannot put negative three in the equation. The reason being, when you put x is equal to negative three, this becomes zero. So that being done let us now look at let me take a different color so brown would do so now we want to find the horizontal asymptote which is parallel to x-axis asymptote now if you remember horizontal asymptote is when your x value approaches infinity on both sides so what do i mean so we are asking the question when x approaches positive infinity okay when x is approaching positive infinity what would happen so this would become a huge number so let us do it on a calculator we can do this in different ways but i believe that doing on a calculator gives you an understanding what's happening so we know the function it is 2x plus 3 2x plus 8 over x plus 3. So open a calculator, menu, run. So I'm going to start with a bracket. Two times. So let us start with a big number, say 1000. Plus 8 divided by, again bracket, 1000 plus 3. So what I have done is, I have put the value of 1000 in place of x. Oops, so what happens, so let me do it again, bracket, 2 times 1000 plus 8 divided by 
1000 plus 3. So let me see what happens. So the, it's 2.00. So let me make this a bit bigger. So let me add a zero there. If I add a zero there, it becomes 10,000. And oh, what am I doing? Zero. 2.001 okay so again let me make it 10 times bigger I'll put a zero there and also a zero here zero here so can you see what's happening this is approaching zero from above that's slightly more than two it's never going to be become two it is you can say y is approaching two from above so I'm going to write like this this implies, uh, uh, not this implies, I can say when x is approaching uh, infinity, positive infinity, y is approaching to from above. This is how I, sh this is my own notation. This is approaching to from above. So what will happen when x is approaching negative infinity? Okay what will happen okay so you can see I'm making a guess y would be approaching 2 from below so I'll show this notation like this so again let me get the calculator out menu run so I'm going to put a negative number so that is neg 2 times negative 1000 plus 8 divided by negative 1000 plus 3 am I right yeah that's right and see what happens it's 1.99 okay so let me make that more negative 10 times more negative I'll put a zero here just like that and uh, a zero there 1.99 can you see the pattern let me do one more so here yeah, zero one more zero and one more zero one point it's approaching two from below or from under so this is how I have written when x is approaching negative infinity in other words it's approaching two that means it will never become two so your horizontal asymptote this implies our asymptote is y is equal to 2. This is our horizontal asymptote. So let me, so we, we let us go to the graph. Your y is equal to 2. So where is my, so this line is y is equal to 2. So I'm drawing, this is the, so this is the line. And I'll name this as, sorry, I want this, y is equal to 2. Okay, so now you can understand the graph would, one branch would be somewhere here, and the other branch would be somewhere here. Okay, so to find some, okay, now we want to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So I believe the graph will go like this. You'll have uh, the y-intercept the here. And you'll have the x-intercept here. So we need to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Go back. So the next is to find the x or say the y-intercept. So let me change color. Which color would be good? Let me take a blue color. Okay. So let us let, let us find the y-intercept first. So you know that y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So let me write the equation again. y is equal to 2x plus 8 over x plus 3. Okay. So when x is equal to 0, so this is 2 times 0 is 0 plus 8 over 0 plus 3, which is 8 divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this is about 2 point something. So let me use my calculator. Menu run 8 divided by 3. 
two points two and two thirds okay so this is two and two thirds so this is two and two thirds so let me plot that so y intercept is two and two thirds let me use a thicker point so this is y intercept is two and two thirds this is one third and this is two thirds okay so let me bring back my color let me use a different color now let me use violet so now we want to find the x-intercept so the graph seems to be going like this so I can find the x-intercept I have to find the x-intercept oops let me go back okay so we are almost in the home stretch so x-intercept x-intercept is when y is equal to 0 okay so let us let me rewrite the equation y is equal to 2x plus 8 over x plus 3 okay so when y is equal to 0 0 is equal to 2x plus 8 over x plus 3 so I'm going to cross multiply so this is 0 I'm multiplying both sides by x plus 3 so this is 0 times x plus 3 and put this in the bracket so let me put this in the bracket is equal to 2x plus 8 and 0 times anything is 0 so I can say 0 is equal to 2x plus 8 so if we take away 8 from both sides I can say negative 8 is equal to 2x and I'm dividing both sides by 2 so x is negative 4 so x intercept is a neat point is negative 4 let me use the blue color x is equal to negative 4 is here sitting here so this is your x intercept so we need to find some need y intercept for which again we'll use the calculator so I'll type in I'll go to table I'll show you how to find the points I'll also show your graph would be undefined or error at 3. So go to table and type in the equation which is 2x plus 8 bracket divided by again a bracket x plus 3 close the bracket. So let me go set the range from negative 10 to 10 uh, and a range of 1 would do and table so I'm not interested in these ugly points so let me only take the neat points so you got phi negative 1 okay so you got phi you got phi oh sorry phi negative 1 okay phi negative 1 so let me go back and see it's phi 1 sorry Mm, that's right so it's phi comma one year okay uh, have I done some mistakes so let me check my equation uh, 2x plus 8 that's right divided by x plus 3 that's right mm, okay so table let me scroll down this is negative phi 1 yeah that's right that was I was wondering what's happening it's negative phi 1 so this this is this point negative phi 1 uh, let me take one more point uh, okay this is what I wanted to explain at negative 3 the function is has an error okay so when it's negative 2 4 okay negative 2 4 uh, where is my negative 2? Negative 2, 4, yes, it goes up, yeah. Okay, so let me, I'll continue this uh, in the next video. Thank you.